in kindergarten, we have, uh-oh, another one of our friends forgot to put their name on it. Remember to always put your name on it so you can get picked, okay? All right, let's pick another one. We have Zach C. in Mrs. Sheets' class and Grayer in Mrs. Anderson's. Go kindergarten! In first grade, we have Ellie in Mrs. Camboris' class and Lauren in Miss Ace class. Yay! And in second grade, we have Dalton in Mrs. Jones' class and Miles C. in Mrs. Delaney's class. Good job, second grade. In third grade, we have Chloe in Mrs. Bainty's class and Gage in Mrs. Baker's class. Good job, third grade. In fourth grade, Cicely in Miss Barney's class and Hayden in Mrs. Clark's class. Good job, fourth grade. In fifth grade, we have Sophia in Mrs. Cutler's class and Emma in Mrs. Cutler's class. Good job, fifth grade. And then in sixth grade, we have Julia in Mrs. Morgan's class and Tristan in Mrs. Barrow's class. Way to go, sixth grade. Woo! Remember, if your name got picked, to come to room 102 at first recess to get your place. Good job, Cougars! <laughs> During the next few weeks of CBS News, you will be introduced to school-wide expectations. These are expectations that everyone in the school must follow, and they go along with our three school rules, which are be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. This week, you will be introduced to Hallway Expectations. You will see these posters hanging in the hall. Please pay attention to them. Our hallway expectations follow our three school rules. You need to be safe. Being safe in the hallway looks like and sounds like Kaifuti. Remember to keep your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Your arms should always be folded or in your pockets. You need to be responsible. That looks like and sounds like walking directly behind the person in front of you. And you need to be respectful. And that looks like and sounds like no noise in the hall at all. Thank you. 
Be safe. Be safe.